Hello everyone. So how is it going? Before we get into the details of how Shim and Run C works, we have to understand certain basics of Unix. I understand that you know this has been a very grueling session, a lot of things being talked about in such a short span of time, and there might be some difficult some difficulty in comprehending all of these things. The idea of this tutorial is not really to uh, get into to the internal workings of each and every component of docker the idea of this tutorial is to give you a glimpse of the different uh, glimpse of the workings of the different components of docker and also to show you how uh, you can do it or you can create a container if you were where to now there are certain nitty-gritty associated with the workings of the shim and the run c layer of docker so in order to understand that let, let's get into the details of what a session is and what a process group is now as you can see here there are two process groups that have been defined one is uh, the process group 1 which is a foreground process and the process group 2 which is a background process so what what is the difference between a foreground process and a background process now in order to understand that let's get into the workings of of a terminal now as you can see here this is a terminal that we are that I am using. So this is an Ubuntu terminal here and as you can see here this when this terminal has been started it has already been launched or rather you know, it has already launched a bash process. So the bash process is already running and this terminal is associated with that. Now bash is the process leader for this particular session and for the process group. Now, why do I say that? I don't know. Bash is the leader for this particular session. So the reason why I say that is, any foreground process that interacts with the terminal. So this is a foreground process, right? Bash is a program process, and it's interacting with a terminal here. So any background process, or any foreground process that interacts with the terminal, will have a leader, and the leader of this program will fork itself. To launch other programs so now let's say we type psaux and i do a grab of bash itself now how many programs are running here we have four different programs running here there's a bash program which is running in the back in the foreground and it's connected to the fit uh, into the uh, pseudo terminal which is this terminal that you're seeing on my screen right now and that's connected to the ps program so you know what bash does is it forks itself and overlays that copy so what fork does is it creates a parent and the child right if the exist actual process will continue to be the parent and the new process that it creates will be called the child and you overlay ps process on the child so that's the first thing that bash does then the bash does a fork again and there's a pipe program running in between right so this is the pipe program so it overlays pipe in the second program and it forks itself again and it overlays crap in the third program now pipe is a program which basically facilitates uh, two processes to communicate with each other so the one of the end of the pipe program so standard input of the pipe program will be linked to the standard output of the ps program and the standard output of the pipe program will be linked to the standard input of the grep program so this is how uh, process uh, so this is how a session works now uh, what i do is i do uh, let's say uh, more program i run it in the background Oh, sorry so that's not possible uh, so I done I done a uh, 
sorry about the mode thing because it expects some input file to be given so uh, running ls as the background program now this ls program it belongs to a different process group so the, the bash the ps the pipe and the grep programs all four of them go into the foreground process group whereas the ls that i ran towards the end goes to the background process group now all these things are happening in a single terminal session so this is what a session is about so you know let's come back to our diagram and what we'll realize here is the controlling terminal will be associated with the foreground foreground process group as i explained through the terminal just a while back and there can be multiple background process groups you know ls was just one program but probably you know i could have piped the output of ls to another grep and ran that in the background so that would have been so that would have been a process group too which had multi, which has multiple processes now the catch here is you know it is not necessary that the controlling terminal is created by the foreground pro, a process belonging to the foreground it is very well all right if a process group which is in the background and this process running within that and that creates the controlling terminal and uh, and then you know eventually it relinquishes the control to another process in the foreground which becomes the leader so you know there's a background process uh, there's a background process group which has a pro process called process 8 and that process 8 starts off the controlling terminal like this and you know once it opens the terminal it can it it can get into the background so how does it get into the background this process group one can uh, so it can create a new process so process 8 will create a new process called process 3 and process 3 will create a new session so so you know that session will take over the control of the terminal and that's it you know you can have a single session where uh, of course in this particular example it created a separate session altogether but it's not you can always place a process group or a group process into a particular session right so, into, so this can this can this process process it can open a terminal just relinquish the control of that particular ter terminal to the process 3 which belongs to another foreground process and that that process becomes the leader so the catch here is you know every process belongs to a process group a session has a set of process groups a session is connected to a single terminal and only processes in the foreground process group can communicate with the controlling terminal so these are the four things that one has to understand before trying to understand how shim and run c actually works so once this part is clear let's get in get into something called the terminal thank you for listening